Today, we're going to be turning my broken 27 inch iMac into a standalone display thanks to Juicy Crumb and their new replacement logic board. I actually got this iMac back in 2019. You may actually remember the video when I pulled it out of an Officeworks e-waste bin. Either way, it worked good for a while, but then the GPU began to fail. So it's a perfect candidate for this upgrade. So let's take a look and see what we got. Inside this repurposed box from JB Hi-Fi should be everything I need to convert my failing iMac into a standalone computer monitor. We've got various cables, the instruction manual, and of course the board itself. It's definitely packaged securely in some bubble wrap and an anti-static bag. And here we have the board in all its purpley glory. Once again, this is a proof of concept prototype and not a final product. The main differences this has over a cheap one from eBay is that this utilizes the iMac's built-in power supply and backlight inverter, making it easier to install and allows for a much brighter image. Another feature is the integrated audio amplifier so you can make use of the decent speakers already in the iMac. And here is my old iMac from the Officeworks e-waste bin. I stored it away in our shed for the last two years, but sadly I managed to drop a piece of lighting equipment on the glass while getting it off the shelf. This only affects the corner and is hardly noticeable during normal use thankfully. The iMac does still power up and I confirm that the display is also still bright and functional. And apart from the damaged front glass and the failing graphics card, it's in good condition. And today's video wouldn't be possible without your phone and their new rugged smartphone, the Armor 15, which has built-in wireless earbuds. If you're after a tank of a smartphone, well, this is definitely a great option. To find out more, click the link in the description below. And here we have the board in all its prototype glory. So I think it's time we should now open up the iMac and put it inside. First, I've got to remove the RAM cover and sticks located at the bottom of the machine. I was previously running 12 gigabytes of RAM across the four sticks. Next came the removal of the front glass, and unlike newer iMacs, this is held in place magnetically. And with some small suction cups, I was able to carefully lift off the glass. I then removed the eight Torx T10 screws located on either side of the display, but be careful as some of the screws are next to really strong magnets and may prove difficult to take out. And by gently lifting from the top on both sides, I could prop up the 27 inch panel, but be very careful as there are four connectors underneath. These must be disconnected prior to removing the display entirely. Then the delicate panel can come out and be sure to place this somewhere safe as it is very easy to smudge as well as scratch. After filming the original video back in 2019, I redid the thermal paste and put in this 500GB solid state drive. And before I take the logic board out, I made sure to label the connectors I'm going to have to attach to the new board. Those include the speakers, webcam, power button, and CPU fan. The board is held in place with many different Torx screws, and I'd highly recommend keeping track of their location for use with the new Juicy Crumb board. Be sure to remove the screws on the graphics card and CPU cooling assembly as well. Both components come out with the logic board itself, and with the large power connector detached from the back, the board finally came out. The instructions also say to remove the right pressure wall, this piece of plastic here. I assume this is to allow the three cables to run through to the new board. And using the left RAM slot on the base of the iMac, I fed through the cables, routing them around the logic board mounting screws. And with the power connector plugged in on the back of the new board, I began seating it in place. And this took quite a bit of trial and error to get it lined up correctly. I'd say adding some rubber grommets to the screws would help as it sits lower than the original board. And when plugging in the display inputs, I was sure to leave enough slack as to not bend the connectors or cable ends. Now the reassembly can begin by seating the 27 inch display panel. Now for the moment of truth, does it actually work? The answer was thankfully yes. And what better video to try out on here than the one I made about this very iMac over three years ago. The speakers had plenty of volume and I forgot just how good the ones in here sound. I'm pretty excited to see where this project gets to. The prototype here is already pretty functional. Juicy Crumb have plans to offer boards compatible with other iMac models in the future, maybe even going as far back as the iMac G4. This has really turned my old, failing and basically worthless iMac into a decent 14 40p external monitor. Juicy Crumb plan to release three versions, the Dock Lite, which is apparently very similar to the prototype have been sent, the Dock Pro, which adds support for the existing I.O. of the iMac along with M2 storage drive support, and the last one adding support and connectivity for an M1 Mac Mini, allowing you to drop the internals of an M1 Mac inside and use this as a fully fledged desktop computer. Big thank you to the creators for sending me this prototype. And if you're interested at all in what they're doing, the link to the Kickstarter is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.